Good morning, everyone. I'm Danielle, we all know this. Um, I'm the founder and CEO at Unboundly, where we are leveraging neural networks to engage and influence the evolving traveler. So today, I'll be taking us through the evolution of neural networks, both human and machine. So technology itself, we're well aware, has and will continue to change the way we live, work, and think. So with tech evolving with increasing speed, the way we cater to users really needs to evolve as well. So we've identified two core forces at play here in this evolution. The first one is the population. They have different dreams, desires, and intentions. And the technology that's serving this population. It's evolving at light speed. And together, it makes the modern traveler. The modern traveler is largely comprised of millennials. That's the largest segment of that market. And so how many millennials are there? Today, we make up 25% of the total population, 33% of the voting age population, and a staggering 40% of the working age population. So what does it mean to be a millennial? While well, most of us got our first devices when we were toddlers, I got mine in 1989. It was an Apple computer. I was four years old. And so what does that really mean, growing up with technology like that? in your life at all times. Well, really, our brains have actually developed new neural circuitry to basically align with that, meaning that we have heightened visual and spatial intelligence, but we've weakened our deep thinking and critical analysis abilities. So that really means there's a shift in what we look for and what we expect. And so basically, we are making faster decisions because our superficial processing speed is so fast, that we are really impatient, and we make go or no-go decisions pretty much instantaneously. So if you aren't spoon-feeding us exactly what we seek, unfortunately, our brain feels compelled to look elsewhere. And it's increasingly linked to our brain's pleasure centers. So it means if we don't find what we need, we have to go elsewhere. But if you are able to connect with us in the ways we seek, we're actually looking for this, immersive experiences around the world. So we've definitely altered spending patterns because of the way we try to consume and the locations in which we want to travel. But I'd like to just refute the myth that millennials don't spend. Because last year, we did spend $300 billion on international travel. We're just selective spenders. So we spend our money different ways. And I would like to explain that there is a big gap here in what we seek and what exists. So we really need to start thinking about the way that we can build in alignment with this new brain to resolve that gap and convert more of the population. So to connect with and more effectively convert the current population, we need to remember what I mentioned about what technology has done to our brains. We've shifted from being deep sea divers looking for content to surface level surfers. We hop around, we go from page to page, and we make quick decisions. We have a hard time remaining focused on a single task. So can neural networks be the thing that helps us connect with this population in a more effective way? Well, as they mirror our brain's functionality, as you can see on the screen, they might be our best bet. Neural networks bring together incoming data and structure it as hierarchical concepts, very similar to that of a human brain. And when we leverage the power of this net, we can then give users what they want before they even know what it is. So aligning technology with these new processing patterns, we can see a direct impact on conversions. So how do we know? Well, Netflix has employed the use of neural networks for the last decade. At the onset of this, neural networks had the intelligence comparable to that of a worm. So it's no wonder many didn't follow suit on that. But today, the intelligence achievable is much closer to that of a human brain. And because Netflix applied these complex analyses this entire time across thousands of proprietary qualifiers as they define them, 
They were able to get users to watch and enjoy shows and movies they've never even heard of. So let's revisit how exactly they got to do this. Well, they mastered their hierarchical concepts that I mentioned by defining more specific qualifiers, like mood, aesthetic, and pace. Not just you know, a genre like comedy, right? They're being very specific, and the more specific you get, the more accurate you are. So they then developed these categories, like you can see on the screen, sharp humor and dark crime. Those are comprised of many qualifiers so that they can then, by knowing a user enjoyed a specific category, they can get them to watch and, and enjoy things they, again, have never heard or seen. So how, how impactful was that for their company? Well, 80% of Netflix viewing is from their recommendations versus the 20% from direct search. Even more shocking than that is it roughly mirrors the needs of millennial travelers. 77% of millennial travelers do not know exactly where they'd like to go. In fact, they're seeking recommendations. So knowing and closely following the evolution of neural networks, both human and machine, at Unboundly, we've taken an entirely different approach in pursuing personalized discovery for travel. We've cross-indexed flight content with destination content and then user content, like establishing our own hierarchical concept as I've been speaking about. And by doing this, we then fill our algorithms with all the data and our unique qualifiers. And we then traverse our network in real time to create optimized journeys individualized for each customer. We know and show all of the relevant snippets needed for successful conversion in visually absorbable ways. Remember the visual and spatial. Travel is no longer a one-size generic model. It's connected to and individualized for every single person in this audience. When we let users access our system, results confirmed our hypotheses. 95% of our beta users completed a booking, and even more interesting than that, 60% went to a destination different than the one they'd originally typed in. They went to a destination we recommended to them. Here at Unboundly, we're not bound by traditional tools or thinking. We're evolving with our customers and building next-gen travel tools. We're already in discussion with companies in social search and travel spaces, evaluating the best way to bring our neural networks to the masses. Thank you very much for your time.